All right, so hello everybody. Grumpy Gay Guy here with another rant. This one is going to be going on my YouTube channel instead of TikTok because it's going to be a lot longer than the three minutes that I'm allotted. Um, I will still be making a TikTok with the Cliff, Cliff Notes version though. I even have a printout for the TikTok of what I want to say because I hate going into these things unprepared. But with that being said, let's play a fantastically wonderful game of why is blank homophobic? Okay, so the reason for this TikTok, or er, excuse me, YouTube, the reason for this video today has to do with a conversation that I had on one of my knitting and crochet groups on Facebook. So I was scrolling through and I happened to see something from Hobby Lobby. I looked through the article says something about transgender people in bathrooms. So I'm like, oh look, politics in our knitting group. It annoyed me to no end, but that's literally all I said. I have a TikTok about like all of it. like, And the thing the person said right after that. But that is neither here nor there. I wanted to know exactly what makes these places homophobic. There are three big ones. First, there is, on my list, Chick-fil-A. Everybody seems to hate Chick-fil-A, and I don't know why. Their chicken is the freaking best. Like, I, I can't even tell you. Like, I can be stuffed full from like Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, sorry, cat fur on my mustache. Ugh, I have a long haired cat. But anyway, I digress. I can be stuffed full on Thanksgiving day and then eat a piece of chicken from Chick-fil-A and then suddenly be hungry for more Chick-fil-A. Like, I don't know what it is. Their chicken is just that good. But anyway, I wanted to know exactly what made them homophobic. So they're the first on my list. So let's go through each point that I found out, each thing that I discovered. So first, it says that they donated money to anti-LGBT organizations and charities. It doesn't say who, though. Doesn't say how much money. It doesn't say where the money went. It just says anti-LGBT organizations. So my question is, who are these organizations and what makes them homophobic? If you want to go digging for that, please, by all means, go digging. I didn't because I am uh, just a bit frustrated that people just, oh, well, so-and-so's anti-LGBT, so we should boycott them. Like, who says? Why? I get so frustrated when people just accept things without question. And I find it so freaking hypocritical and hilarious and tragic and all of the things that every liberal and every Democrat seems to think, oh, well, where are your sources? They ask for sources on everything that you say to them, but then when it comes to, you know, them having to ante up with sources and what, well, uh, they're anti-LGBT, just take my word for it. Well, no, sweetie. Find out where their money went Find out how much money went to each organization and then find out what makes those organizations homophobic. Do your fucking homework for once. I am not your teacher. While I am certified and qualified to be an educator, I am not your educator. I am not your mother. Do it yourself. Point number two for Chick-fil-A. They do not support same-sex marriage. So the fuck what? I can promise you, here and now, nobody is going to take that right away from us. As somebody who is out there picketing, marching, boycotting, and protesting for marriage equality and other LGBT rights, I promise you nobody's going to take anything away from you. Marriage equality is staying where it is. Nobody's going to remove it. And do you know why? Do you know why I am confident in saying that? Because 
the log cabin Republicans, like myself, are working to keep it in place. We are being more and more accepted in the Republican Party. I don't... I'm just going to leave it at that. Let us deal with things on our side. Also, we're making friends with all of the old-timey. Like, there's... Instead, I'm, I'm not going to go on that tirade. Just know that we are doing our best to keep things where they are and nothing's going anywhere anytime soon. Nobody wants to get rid of our rights. Nobody is actively working to get rid of our rights. But with that said, point number three, they support conversion therapy. Well, so do trans people. That's it. I mean, literally, that is the entire trans agenda. That is the entire trans ideology. Same-sex attraction is transphobic. Genital preferences are transphobic. Yes, as a gay man, I cannot find a job. I can't go back to school. I have 50 degrees already, but I can't do anything. I literally can't even leave my house because I will be fucking threatened to within an inch of my life because I don't fucking bang the front hole, which men do not have. And that, I am going to save that rant for a different video. I could go on about that. I have gone on about it. You can see it. I'm pretty sure by the title of the video, you can tell which one is my trans rant. Next point. It is supported by and supports the National Christian Foundation. Again, so the fuck what? Who the fuck cares? Uh, yeah, so Christianity can be a little homophobic at times. Do you know what I'm going to tell you? Do you know what I'm going to tell you? I'm going to tell you the, ac the exact same fucking shit that you tell me when I question your great and glorious Islamic overlords. It's a religion of peace. You're just misinterpreting it. Those poor Muslims. You hate them because they're Muslims and you're xenophobic. And you're transphobic. And you're just... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They're both Abrahamic faiths, dumbass. God fucking damn. It's a religion of peace. By the way, all of the people... Well, not all. 98% of the people who support me the most and love me the most are devout Christians. I can point you in their direction. Some of which have even told me that they believe that sexuality is a choice, but they do not care that I am making this choice. Well, I don't believe that it's a choice. I appreciate the fact that you know, they don't care. They see me as a person. They see the things that I stand for. They see my morals, my values. They see my heart and my brain and my soul. And they're like, yes, I value you a lot more than I value this one thing about you. Moving on. Oh, I can't touch on this one, actually. I have not done the deep dive into this because... I've literally spent the past, like, two or three hours doing this whole thing. But, uh, they do not support the Equality Act. And from what I'm hearing, I don't either. But, that opinion is subject to change because I'm about to do a deep dive into the Equality Act. And I'm going to find everything I can about it and make sure that what I've heard is accurate. But as it stands, the people who support me do not support the Equality Act. And 
it is what it is. I trust that they have my best interest at heart. But anyway, moving on. Uh, they actively support the Alliance Defending Freedom Organization. Again, so the fuck what? Who cares who they support? Do you know what the Alliance Defending Freedom Organization is? It's literally just an organization geared towards helping Christians. Uh, I don't know if it's before or after Bible college, but they help them go to law school so that they can raise good Christian lawyers with good Christian values. And... I don't know that there's a lot of homophobia in that. I mean, I have, I have what, as an atheist, I have what can be considered an entire array of Christian values because I believe in the nuclear family. I believe that a household with children would benefit from having two parents, one from each gender role more specifically. That makes it more nuclear. Having two moms, an effeminate and a masculine mom, or having two dads, an effeminate and a masculine dad. I believe that a family can function very well that way. I believe that. And, you know, I believe, you know, again, it's going back. I don't want to, I'm already at 12 minutes, so I have to uh, streamline. I can't go into tirades. I have to avoid the tirades, which I am not doing good at so far. Anyway, Alliance Defending Freedom Organization is an organization geared towards raising Christian lawyers. So the fuck what? So they want to help people become lawyers. You do realize that people fall into and out of Christianity daily, right? So somebody who goes through this organization, how do you know they won't convert to something else after they finish? How do you know they're not lying to do it? Which is extremely unethical and horrid of you as a person to use a loophole to defraud a charitable organization like that. That's just deviant. Oh, tirade, tangent, sorry. Oh, and they're, uh, the last thing for Chick-fil-A is that they're actively pro-life. Well, I'm not going to get into that debate because people on both sides of the spectrum, people on both sides of the argument will not like my views. I don't say my views. I've never said my views to anybody. However, I will state clearly, plainly, and openly as an atheist who believes and trusts science and facts a single-celled organism is still a valid form of life. Therefore, a clump of cells, a clump of single cells globbed together, is life. And I'm dropping it at that. Okay, so next on the list, Salvation Army. Why are they homophobic, I wonder? Well, let's go down the list. I'm going to try to wrap this up. It'll be fine. Um... They are firmly established as a Christian charity organization. Oh, okay. So, like, that one is just a general note to lead into the second point that I have on the list here. As a, an established Christian charity organization, they, in the past, in the 80s, refused to offer services and support for LGBT individuals. However, it is necessary to note that in about 2002, they, like, they came out and said they were sorry and that they are changing their ways because a human is a human and all humans deserve the same respect. I'm paraphrasing. Those are my words, not the directors and founders. But yes, you can find the quote, the direct quote from the founder of the Salvation Army. Okay. This one has nothing to do with us, but it does have everything to do with us. I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with America and LGBT in America, but it does have everything to do with LGBT because it's LGBT New Zealand. Okay, so they wanted to 
criminalized homosexuality in New Zealand again back in the 80s. This this time it was only up to 1996, I believe. So like only maybe 10-ish years later they came out and said that no, we're we are not doing that anymore. That is not our values. It is not a crime to be LGBT. And again, you can find that quote from the CEO of the Salvation Army. So those last two things are no longer applicable. Okay. They believe that sexuality is a choice. Well, so do trans people. I literally get told many, 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 many times a day that the fact that I like dick is a disgusting, transphobic, gynemisogenistic choice. And I should be ashamed of myself. Yes, nine, uh, yeah, nine times out of ten, it's a woman, female breasts and vagina woman, who says that to me. You know, a woman who is born as a woman, wants to live life as a woman, loves being a woman, loves everything that a woman does. She comes into our groups, our rooms, our environments, as gay, uh, says she's a gay man, and we have to accept her because she says she's a man. And now I am required by law Okay, that is a bit ex that is a bit of an exaggeration, but at the same time I am required by societal law to basically like her pussy. I am required societally to be attracted to her pussy. Why? Cuz like I said, I won't be able to get hired anywhere because nowhere hires transphobes. Bitch, you ain't fucking trans. If you were born in a body, have no intentions of ever leaving that body or changing anything else about your body, you are not trans. You are a mab or a fab. Next on the list. They encouraged LGBT individuals to practice celibacy. They encouraged everyone to practice celibacy. They believe that sex is only for procreation and procreation is only for marriage, is something only done in marriage. Like, seriously. They told everyone, they believed that everyone should practice celibacy unless in a committed marriage, a committed monogamous marriage. I don't get the whole point. Like, that's so fucking stupid. Okay. Again, they once supported conversion therapy. Well, so do trans people. Because, you know, I'm not allowed to like hot guys, hot, hairy, chested men with, you know, nice dicks anymore. The, the only men that I'm allowed to like in society anymore is the men who have a wet, soaking vagina fucking makes me sick thinking about it. Okay, that brings us to Hobby Lobby, which I didn't find any fucking thing on. Everything I found was no later than 2014. There was a case back in 2014, and then the only, the one and only article I found centering on anything in this most recent time frame was 2000, no, yeah, 2021. It was dated two days ago, and it was involving some trans bathroom thing. It's what started this whole video charade thing. Okay, so, like, the judge ruled against them. They have to let people... Now, according to law, they are required by law to let a person use the bathroom that they want to use. They're required by law. They can't discriminate anymore. They're legally not allowed to. So that one is not applicable. 
Again, they people have said that they support conversion therapy. That's unconfirmed. Nobody anywhere has ever said it that they do. Um, they do not support same-sex marriage. That's unconfirmed. That n nobody has ever said that they do or don't. Um, they believe that sexuality is a choice. Unconfirmed. They do. Nobody has ever said anything uh, one way or the other. However, it is as people are assuming that I I can understand why people are assuming that because they are a Christian run organization. But one thing people really need to stop doing is assuming that their religion dictates their personal morals and values. Yes, while all Christians have a core set of values and beliefs, not every Christian believes the same. Trust me, I know. I've met a lot of different flavors of Christian out there. From my grandmother, who is extremely horrid and wretched, she believes she believes what was told to people in the 19 50s, 60s, and 70s about gay people. You know, she, she believes that super homophobic religious bullshit. And at the other end, I am friends with people on this side who believe that it's whatever. You do you. I don't care. As long as you're not hurting anybody, I don't care. And that's where my vo morals and values come from. You can do what you want as long as you ain't hurting nobody. And we've come to the end of my list. We've come to the end of my rant. We've come to the end of my tirades. If you've stuck around for all 20-some plus minutes, I congratulate you. You need an award. You need a medal. I don't know. Fucking Nobel Peace Prize. If you've listened to the whole thing. Even more so, if you've listened and you didn't get triggered, because, you know, nothing I said was inaccurate. Everything I said is fully researched. I will do more research on the Equality Act, and I will probably have another video about that sometime soon. It will probably have to be a YouTube video because, you know, I, uh, there's not enough time on TikTok. But, okay. I'm going to end this. It's 22.30 now. Well, 22 minutes and 30 seconds. Thank you for listening to the rant. If you've stayed to the whole thing, I will have more videos to come in the future.